Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today we are unboxing some Mega Man stuff from I Am 8-Bit. Now, I ordered the uh, Mega Man 2 and the Mega Man X 30th anniversary sets from I Am 8-Bit. They were $100 a piece, which is extremely pricey for what it is, and I'll do another whole video, I think, where I talk about uh, whether I think it's worth it or not. Although, just to summarize that, I think I think if you're a diehard Mega Man fan like I am, uh, it's it's still pricey, but it's worth it. But uh, if you're not, then <laughs> it's probably not worth that much money. But Mega Man is my favorite gaming franchise of all time. I love Mega Man games. I'm still working my way through Mega Man 11 now. Uh, already beaten all the games in the X Collection. Had the original version of Mega Man 2. And the original version of Mega Man X, which I actually bought this back when it first originally came out. Got it when I was in Virginia visiting family years ago. Back in, uh, I think I got it in 94, actually. About a year after it came out. Anyway, uh, this I love this sticker. This is a neat little touch. This is a uh, password for Mega Man 2. And if I remember correctly, it will take you straight past the eight bosses to the Wily castle so I, I think it's neat that they give they give you this little kent in there oh, the, that's a sticker it's pretty cool Let's see if we can dig in here open on up now we're just going to review one of them whichever one i get first we'll do here and then we'll do the, the next one will be the next review let's see what the first one is yay information that's my receipt. I like this. This looks really well protected. On the nice display. Let's see which one we have first. We have Mega Man 2. So, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. You got your limited edition here. This is one of 8,500. Mega Man 2. Now, this is embossed. So, this is raised. You can see it right here with the light hitting it. Uh, the Mega Man 2 box art. I've always liked the Mega Man 2 box art. I know it doesn't look traditional because the Mega Man still doesn't really look like Mega Man. He looks like a guy in a suit instead of a robot. It's way better than that Mega Man 1 box art. That's so bad. Uh, this is also embossed. The 30th anniversary logo and the cart the Legacy Cartridge Collection uh, right here. Embossed. This looks really good. I like the blue. Now, I do like the Street Fighter 2 packaging a little better with the black. I don't actually have that one because I'm not as big of a Street Fighter fan, but I like the way the packaging looked a little better. I'm sure they went with blue here because it's Mega Man. This is also embossed, actually, right here on the side. I did not realize that. And the top. Right there. That's pretty nif That's pretty nifty. And the back. Right here, also embossed, Capcom, Worldwide Arcade Game Designer. Now the layout's a little different than the original packaging. The original packaging had the pictures vertically right here with the lettering on this side. This looks really good, Airman, Woodman, and the Stage Select. This is embossed. So it actually looks pretty impressive. I like that. Let's see if we can get it open. And I'm not one of those people that takes super care of the plastic wrap like some do. I just... Let's see here. If I can start that without damaging anything. And I knew I was going to open these when I got them. One, I have to know if I have the regular cartridge or the blue cartridge. And two, I got these as decoration pieces because, again, I'm a Mega Man fanatic. I had to have it open. I wanted the manual. I wanted the trifold box, and you know, I want all of that stuff, so I knew I was going to open it. And I love the fact that, unlike the Street Fighter ones that sold out in a week, these are still available on the I Am 8-Bit shop. And so all of the scalpers that thought these things were going to sell out immediately are having to suck it. One guy was selling both this one and the X one for $450, and they're constantly dropping in price. And they're down to $285, and I can't wait to see what he ends up having to let go of them for, because I really hate scalpers. And this look, oh, this feels great. I love the uh, packaging right here. It feels really nice. It's been a long time since I held a Mega Man 2 box. I actually got my copy of Mega Man 2. It's not my original copy. My cousin had the original copy. This is the game that got me hooked on Mega Man, Mega Man 2. Um, 
I got this actually at a pawn shop for like three dollars. And God knows how many times I've played it. <laughs> Whereas in this one, uh, this one cost me a hundred bucks, but I bought it to have it. I mean, I have so many different ways to play this game. I have it downloaded on the Wii. I have it on the Mega Man Legacy Collection on the Xbox and the Mega Man Legacy Collection on the 3DS so I can play it on the go. I, I love Mega Man too. And there's the uh, folder. That looks pretty nice how this opens right here. I've never really liked that artwork much. I know it's like the Japanese artwork. I think it's the artwork I think for the Japanese Famicom version of the game. But I've never been overly impressed with that picture and some of the artwork from back then. But it's neat that it has that feature. I will say before I open it, um, I'm kind of hoping I just have the light blue cartridge. I really like the way that light blue cartridge looks. I know most people want the glow in the dark one because it's the rare one. And I do want that on the X one because I don't really, just from pictures, I don't like the way the X white cartridge looks. So I'm hoping I get the glow in the dark one on the X one. But for Mega Man 2, I really like in videos that I've seen the way the light blue cartridge looks, the regular one. And I'm actually hoping instead of the glow in the dark one, that I get the regular one. So, fingers crossed, it's the regular one. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I like this right here. Uh, the other side of the embossment, you can actually see right there. This is yellow, that's different. And it's in the bag, so you still don't know quite what you got. Uh, I think that's everything. Yes, that is. All right. Let's see what we got. I mean, I already know. I've watched 50 gajillion reviews. All right, we have the little... This is like old school video games. Kind of give it that nostalgia feel. There it is. Where you have the Legacy Craze Club. I've never been able... I'm guessing all of this stuff is a joke. If I remember correctly. Uh, and then it has that poster on the back. But again, I don't really I don't really care for the uh, that. I don't really get into these folders, these posters that uh, unfold. Because you can't really frame them. They just look weird. And then this other thing is basically just an advertisement for Mega Man 11 and the X Collection. You know, it says when you pre-order these, they has other goodies in them. These are really the only goodies, you, extra goodies you get. Uh, the X Collection and the regular collection and Mega Man 11 which thus far is a bit disappointing to me. Mega Man 11 is alright but it's not, as, it's not as good as a lot of the old ones. And then this card for prizes which is very retro which I like. I think that's cool they threw that in there. Uh, quarterly drawing for free prizes. Yada 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 yada. And let's move on to right here. Come on, regular one. Come on, regular one. And I like, I still can't see which one it is. It's hilarious the way they do that. I got the glow in the dark one. Oh my God. <laughs> I got the rare glow in the dark one. It, that's, <laughs> I've got to be the only person on YouTube that wanted the light blue and it got the glow in the dark. But I can't be mad. Thank you, I am 8-bit. I, I thank you. Because, um, I know y'all didn't purposely give it to me, but thank you. That really means a lot that y'all, that, uh, that I got the glow in the dark. I would have rather had the regular one. I'll be honest. I would have rather had the light blue one. I like the light blue one. Um, but it, 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 there is a satisfaction to getting the rare one, uh, the thousand one. And it, uh, it glows in the dark. Wow. Wow. And I don't think anybody's pointed this out, but I remember on the, uh, Street Fighter 2 one in reviews... It had a little joke on the back that said, um, you must defeat Shang Long to proceed, which is, of course, a, a, an in-reference game. This one has one, too, right down here. It says, welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I, maybe that's from the book. It says, welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I don't remember that from the game, though. I actually don't remember that in the game. Maybe it's in the manual? I have to look. But it is obviously an in-game reference somehow, which I should know. And I feel really bad that I don't. But limited edition blue cart. Okay, glow-in-the-dark cart. I've got to be the only person that wanted the regular one and got the glow-in-the-dark one. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I don't want to have 8-bit to look, 
watch this video and be like that son of a no thank y'all it, I, I, it is it's still nice to get the rare one that's a special feeling uh probably means my x one's gonna be the regular one though and i really wanted the glow in the dark x one and you do get this cool uh dust cover and i like that it has legacy cartridge on there that it slides in like that that's pretty cool and then the manual and i i I like the uh, Super Nintendo style manuals better where they're more like this and open. Uh, the NES style manuals have always been a little weird to me. But yeah, this looks this looks really good. Um, this is really well done. It might be, again, it might be a little overpriced, but that's going to come down to you as the buyer. Um, I don't regret buying it. It's well worth the $100 in my opinion because I'm a Mega Man fanatic. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to is... Uh, is you know is it worth it to you or at the end of the day are you satisfied with your purchase and that's pretty cool how to beat air man why do you need three page why do you need four pages on how to beat air man it is not that hard and that's a cool shot right there weapons and it tells you about all the weapons right there that's pretty cool and how they work that's pretty neat and some of the other enemy characters. I don't know why they need that many steps to beat Air Man. He's very easy. There we go. Tells you some of the bosses, development credits. That's pretty cool right here. Oh, I love that selection screen. Another cool shot. And look, it even gives you a spot where you can write down passwords. So uh, you can jot down. I think that's cool. I really like that they added that, that you can... Uh, have a place for passwords and strategy notes and a shot from the ending of the game yeah oh that's great I love that that looks that looks really good I like that a bit so there we go right here and we will come back with a second video and it is not dark enough for me to do the glow feature I don't believe because it is right outside. But give me a second. Let me cut out all the lights. And nope, no glowing. I guess it hasn't been exposed enough. Nope, no glowing. Sorry about that. I tried. But no glowing in the dark. But uh, thank you, I'm 8-Bit. I do feel, I do still feel uh, uh, pretty awesome that I got the rare one. And their customer service was amazing, I might add, because I was curious about um, how long it was going to take to ship out. I, I pre-ordered late, and they replied to me within hours, and it kept me up to date with it the whole time. So, thank you. And if you get a chance, click up here and check out the Mega Man X uh, unboxing, and we'll find out what I got. So thank you for watching. If you get a chance, subscribe to the channel, Another Sci-Fi Guy. I review Doctor Who, Babylon 5, all things sci-fi related. I'm going to be getting sci-fi games because I consider Mega Man a type of sci-fi. He's a robot. And check out my other website, Prowl1701, P-R-O-W-L-1701, where I review high-end lightsaber replicas like the Ultra Sabers Bellicose. And most importantly, thank you for watching.